Welcome to this mobility site. The video first look. Hey, this is Chris Lechness with MobilitySite.com and I'm bringing you a part two second look at Windows Mobile 6.5. This time we're going to do it on the HTC Pure, which is the um, basically the Touch Diamond 2, just like I showed you in the other video, except for this is the AT&T version and has a release ROM with AT&T on it. So it's got 3G available <clears throat> on this phone as this one does not. And the reason why is there's a, if you look here at the start menu here, AT&T, this version has four columns, whereas this one only has three, which is a little bit interesting. Um, makes it for less scrolling to get to where you need to get. You don't even have to scroll in this mode, so well, a little bit. But anyway, so I just wanted to show a few things on here. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you, uh, if you watch part one, and if you also watch the software, uh, you, the software tour of the Pure, you'll see a little bit too. But I want to go ahead and show, try to do a demo of the marketplace here, and see if this will work for us. Now the marketplace isn't technically supposed to be online yet, but it looks like to turn the switch on a little early today uh, the reports say so I'll try it out it says right here you must download and install up an update from Windows Marketplace for mobile to continue would you like to download and install the update I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes and uh, connected instead of 3G to my Wi-Fi so this shouldn't take awfully long but we will see um, this video will probably be a little later than the part one the part one is on the touch diamond 2 and uh, the Pure and the Touch Diamond 2 ROMs have, oh, it's installing the cab now. The previous version will be removed, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, this, uh, they both have touch flow on them, which sits on top of Windows Mobile 6.5. And this is a more uh, current version of the touch flow software. It's got the colored icons. So, um, let's look here. All right, so it went ahead and did did the uh, cab install. Now it's checking for updates again. No updates. So now we actually have our marketplace. And uh, up here it looks like it shows some popular applications. We've got the showcase, most popular, what's new, categories, my applications. Let's see what we've got in the showcase here. We've got Facebook for win free, which I believe is already on here anyway. Uh, Pac-Man, which they want $6.99 for. Wonder Radio, they want $9.99 for. So I don't know about some of these prices, but we'll see what happens. Um, Windows Mobile applications, whether you get them from this marketplace or straight from the developer or Handango or Mobahan, like we use on our software store and mobility site, you know, have typically been a little pricey. Um, at the time, you know, Windows Mobiles had applications you could download before the iPhone was either breathed, breathed into existence. iPhone, they came out with that with their store in iTunes and blew the lid off of prices. Uh, and uh, it's kind of probably going to make it kind of hard for some of these Windows Mobile developers, but we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and I want to try something out here. Let's try, let's try Twinkity, and it gives you a, a description, features, and it's a paid app. It's a dollar ninety-nine. I'm going to try to buy it. And the features, application requirements, version number, reviews, screenshots, and I guess you could click on here to look at some more screenshots. But there's already one there. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. Okay, it wants me to sign in with a live ID, so. Yeah, I might as well. I'm going to pause this and put that information in and we'll pick it right back up. Okay, it took my login and now it's telling me choose payment $1.99 plus taxes blah blah blah. And so I'm going to choose payment. I'm going to hit yes. And I want to check and see if the bill to to um, phone or the you can bill, uh, supposedly in the marketplace, you're going to be able to bill to your carrier. So it'll come onto your phone bill. And I'm going to try that right now. 
saying please wait while we verify your payment but I didn't put any information in so I'm not sure what we're gonna have here I may not be able to do this but we will see all right let's go back to this one while we wait um, yeah so to get off of touch flow if you want to look at Windows Mobile 6.5 the way you know without oh, marketplace cannot connect to the server please check your data connection and retry again I'm on Wi-Fi so it should be there but let's just go ahead and cancel and try something else here but real quick I'll show you we're gonna multitask here go here to settings all settings and go to the today screen go to items take off the HTC on the here it says sense but on the um, pure it says touch touch flow go to Windows default hit OK X out of there or we can just hit the home button there and get there and there's Windows Mobile 6.5 like I showed you the today screen so get that back out of the way uh, let's go ahead and back out of here I'm doing this trial by fire um, oops I backed all the way out of the application my bad back to marketplace hit back here let's find something free just to see how it goes weather bug let's do uh, let's do AP mobile let's see how this works out I should already be logged in I can already tell this is going to be another long one. Okay, marketplace could not connect to the server. Okay, I'm obviously going to have problems. It shows it live, but I don't. I'm not getting a good test here. So, like I said, it's not supposed to have actually hit until today, which is when I'm going to publish this video. But I'm taking it the night before, uh, so it, it could have limited capacity or uh, limited availability per se. Um, before the actual launch so anyway but that's the app store let's just go ahead and tour it real quick what we can you got showcase which we we're looking at most popular which uh, I mean there's ratings on some of this stuff so I don't know I think there's a a number I saw on the blog today said there was like 174 apps in the store currently which is kind of low considering that they've been uh, getting developers put stuff in for a while I'm seeing I saw some hard hitters from some of the uh, major Windows Mobile developers so I know they're getting some stuff in there you got some EA Sports stuff like Tiger Woods Golf and Madden 10 but um, I, I totally expect the store to be bolstered quite a bit pretty soon I don't know if 174 is going to really work out that's uh, kind of little so well here we can see right here a little bit Productivity 13, Tools 19, 78 games. So that's a category view. And my applications updates. I guess it'll update you and tell you when you have applications with updates available, ready to install, rate an app, remove an app. So anyway, that is the marketplace. I uh, wish I could show you more. I'm not going to be able to show you my phone or. Um, I'm not going to be using it and I don't have it set up so uh, but anyway like I said this is a four column start screen which is kind of neat let's go ahead and go to settings and it's kind of funny on this ROM you saw how we when we hit settings it took us to the three uh, touch flow 3d settings even though touch flow 3d is active on this right now as you can see if you go in here and go to settings and as you notice uh, also I'm not using a stylus anymore. I'm pretty much doing all this, including entering in my information, which I, I'm not privy to the slate style of phone personally. I want a keyboard, physical keyboard myself, but I was able to, you know, poke in the data with the keyboard installed. Um, what am I looking for here? Settings today. Instead of taking it to the touch flow uh, settings like it did on this one, well, we got touch flow turned off right now, but so it shouldn't but you know it took us there and I had to hit all this took us straight to it so it says touch flow 3d here I'm gonna click on Windows default and unclick to touch flow 3d hit OK get out of there and I'll hit the home button we'll go back to the home and wow we got Windows Mobile 
So uh, we've got the what they call the AT&T Death Star behind there. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, if you saw video one, none of this would be beneficial to watch a second time. But this is it on the HTC Pure. Let's see, uh, what else did I want to show you? Was there anything else I wanted to show you? If you watch the part one and the HTC Pure software tour, you'll get basically anything I can show you on here. So uh, really no need to go much further on this. Let's go to uh, start there. Make sure there's nothing I wanted to show you last minute here. I showed you getting started in there. Yeah, that's it. That's probably all we're going to do. So anyway, um, Windows Mobile 6.5 hits today. Uh, there will be a lot of carrier announcements and phone announcements of Windows Mobile 6.5 phones that are being released and upgrades to certain phones like this one here, the Samsung Epic. Epics. Epics. I've got an Epic. Uh, <laughs> a little World of Warcraft humor there. Um, the CTIA is this week, I believe, and you should see a lot of major announcements come out of there. We'll have the announcement at midnight, which will be beyond midnight Pacific time, which will be beyond the, or earlier than when you actually get to see this video. So, um, 6.5 October 6, midnight Pacific Standard Time. It's here. If you are a Windows Mobile fan, this is good news. It's a step forward. It's not completely there, but it is a step forward for Microsoft with their Windows Phone. So anyway, this is the HTC Pure. My name is Chris Lechness, MobilitySite.com. Check us out. Thanks for watching.